Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about how I do build the MCP servers and how I do debugging of the MCP server that I'm building. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the debugging capabilities of the MCP server that you can do right now with the power of the MCP inspectors and also some log files that you can really find to see how you can easily fix this particular issue. The reason why I'm creating this particular video is because there is not a good resource available at the moment in the internet talking about how you can debug the MCP servers. And also because there are so many pull requests coming to my GitHub repo for the Playwright MCP server. Now, I don't claim that it's a my Playwright MCP server. I can claim that as an our Playwright MCP server right now because there are so many contributions coming on and there are so many GitHub stars happening with our uh, Playwright MCP server. So I can't really claim that's mine anymore. So if I just go to the github.com slash um, exit automation slash Playwright MCP server, you can see that we have got around 1200 stars right now and we have got a lot of different contribution. You can see that the number of contributors are keep on increasing every single day and we have got so many different pull requests over here and and of course, many issues as well. So I'm just trying to fix all these issues and I'm seeing many people are also contributing to fix those issues as well. Well, as I said, in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how we can actually uh, debug the Playwright MCP server. And it's gonna be helpful for you, even you are gonna be contributing to this particular repository. So that's what I'm gonna be showing over here. So basically, in order for you to debug the MCP server, you need to use what is called as an MCP inspector. This is a new tool which is released just recently. So if you just go and search for MCP inspector, you will get to this particular URL over here. And this is the one, the MCP inspector, which I'm talking about. So this MCP inspector is currently available for you to just download and it's pretty free to use it as well. You just have to run this particular command, npx model contest protocol slash inspector node uh, build slash index.js. So this index.js is nothing but the index file of your uh, of your MCP server, which is the starting point of your MCP server. You just have to give that and then you just have to run this. That's it. That's the only thing that you have to do. Uh, so I have been testing our Playwright MCP server quite a lot because now Playwright MCP server has also got a testing feature where you can see that we are testing each and every single uh, each and every single uh, libraries that we have built, like tools that we have built is being tested with the coverage and snapshot and things. So if you try to run the NPX test right now, you can see that it's all being tested, which is amazing. But still, it is also getting very harder these days because our tools are keep on evolving and a lot of contributions are happening. It becomes so much complex that you might need to do a lot of debugging as well. That's why I'm going to quickly show you how I do use the uh, the in MCP server uh, for the in uh, debugging capability with the inspector feature. So you can see that I have got the source uh, over here and most of the MCP server are quite smaller. So they just can use the uh, the index.js, uh, uh, which is sitting uh, in their uh, build folder. But currently in our folder structures are a bit different. We are using uh, distribution. So DIST is the place where we have got and we have got this index. Uh, JS file, which is a pre-compiled, uh, like a compiled version of the TypeScript file that we have got. Right, so we are gonna uh, we are gonna point this particular path over here. You can't really path uh, point this source because that is a source. So we we actually need to uh, point to the uh, to the distribution file or the build file where the the transpiled files are sitting from your TypeScript file itself. So that's where I'm gonna point it over here. So I'm just gonna say uh, npx and model contest protocol slash inspector node and distribution slash index.js over here. And then I'm gonna hit uh, enter and you will see that, um, so basically you need to be in the path of the source code as well. Sorry, I just forgot to say that. So this is the build, uh, this is the, this is the um, branch that I'm currently working on. Uh, and this is the uh, path where I wanted to spin up the, um, Spin up, spin up the MCP server, the inspector. So this is the place that you have seen, uh, you have got over here. The moment I click this particular URL, like localhost colon five one seven three, it's going to take me to this particular inspector over here. And you can see that the type that I'm trying to uh, test is going to be the uh, STDIO, not SSE. I mean, if you have the SSE, you can also do the testing as well. I will talk about SSE separately in a different, uh, different video. So uh, this is the argument that I have got. And if I do the connect, if everything is correct, you will see that the connection is going to happen. And it's going to show you all the resources that I have got and also the tools that I have got within my Playwright MCP server. So if I hit this list tools, you can see that it's gonna show me all the different tools uh, with the description as well, which is pretty neat. 
and uh, you can see what these tools are really doing. So if you click the Playwright Navigate, it's going to show you the URL and what is the default uh, width, height, and timeout, uh, uh, and then the wait until. You can also right now run the Playwright MCP server in the headless mode. So I have just created this. I just push the change right now. It should be available in the next new build. So this is the headless uh, option we have got. And similarly, we have got Playwright Screenshot, Playwright Click, iframes, and things everything you can see from here. So let's try to see how we can do the debugging really, right? So we have got this particular tool, Playwright underscore navigate. Uh, and let's say I wanted to navigate to HTTP uh, colon eaapp.sami.com, uh, uh, which is the website over here. Uh, I wanted to navigate uh, and I don't want to give anything right now. I'm not going to run this in headless mode as well. And the moment I click this uh, run tool, you will notice that it's going to open up this particular browser navigating to this particular URL. And you'll also no notice that the, there is this uh, tool call happened. And this particular tool call is going to show you what tool has been invoked, what is the arguments being passed, and what is the meta that we have got, which is amazing. And next, I'm going to see if I could able to click this particular link over here. I know the IDs and things, so I'm going to go to the Playwright Click option over here. Uh, I'm going to say uh, text uh, is equal to uh, login uh, over here. And let me put this thing side by side so that you can see what is really happening as well. So now I'm going to do a click over here. Look at that. It has performed the click operation for me. And it says the tool result is success because it has clicked the element over here. So all these verbose information, these, these things that you're uh, seeing over here are currently being added in the new build. So one of the major releases is going to happen uh, with the Playwright MCP server. You will see all these capabilities coming in. But it is currently in the main branch. You can go and check it out. And then I'm going to go uh, do a fill operation. So I'm going to say uh, the ID of the uh, text box is username, and I want to fill the value with admin. So look at that. Once I click it, it's going to fill the, uh, the username as admin. And if I'm going to type the password, uh, and if I'm going to type the password over here, I'm not going to do that. But if I go to the console log, which is this one, the Playwright console log, and if I want to see all the logs that I wanted to print it out, Look at that, it is gonna show me the logs which are sitting in my console of this particular browser. So you can see them as well. So this is the way that I actually test like how my features are really working so that you, while you use it in your client or cursor or even in the uh, cloud desktop, you, you don't see any issues because it's all been completely tested manually as well as in automated fashion over here uh, using the jest and also the snapshotting. So everything is currently being tested over here, which is great. Uh, and let me pull up this browser. There we go. Uh, so now let's go back to our fill operation, which uh, we were trying to do, uh, which is the uh, ID as a password, uh, which is capital P, and the value is going to be password, whatever. Look at that, it's, it's all been filled. So this is how I do the testing over here. And there is one more thing that you can actually use um, within this particular uh, Playwright MCP server uh, is uh, is to check the the root of this particular server. So you can add the root over here and then you can access whichever file that you wanted to access. And also you can see the sampling. Uh, when the server requests uh, the LLM sampling, request will be appeared here for the approval. So you can do those things as well. Uh, and you can keep on digging around all these things over here. So these things are quite an interesting thing that you can use within the, with the MCP server um, uh, inspector uh, and the final things I wanted to show you is the logging operation which is the logs which are currently sitting uh, in the uh, in your machine as well so that is also kind of very very important so if I go to my finder or in, if you are using Windows if you just go to the file explorer uh, and if I'm just gonna go search for the library logs and cloud which is this one over here, you will notice that it's going to show you all the different servers logged here. Uh, one is the Playwright MCP server, one is the SQLite MCP server, and the GitHub log, uh, GitHub MCP server. The one that we are working with is the Playwright MCP server. So the moment I open it, it's going to show me all the different logs of that particular Playwright MCP server over here, which is quite amazing. And if I do any of the uh, operations over here, so let's say I'm going to do uh, a run tool over here um, maybe a couple of times and uh, let me just hit this now button so that it's gonna keep on do a tailing log look at that so I am seeing an error here um, which is oops oh, it's just gone all the way up 
yeah look at that so this is going to keep on showing me all the different uh, server requests which is happening so this is the message from the client this is the message from the server and this is the message from the server one more time and this is the uh, this is the browser console log that the method not found there is an error happening at the moment for this particular thing because we also executed the uh, the console log there and so it's all showing up over there but you will notice that things are just going to keep on working uh, if you're going to do the debugging over here and one of the one of the community member he also fixed the uh, the issue with the playwright mcp server which actually doesn't quit correctly so if let's just go to the pull request here uh, and the one that we recently closed uh, which is exit process on the host close which is this one um uh, thank you uh kiraj uh but I don't know what is the name exactly, but you have done a good job here. And he identified what is the issue which is going on uh, within our Playwright MCP server, which has got um, a long list of uh, services up and running uh, every single time, even uh, it, even if it is not closed in the in the cursor IDE. So he tried fixing that particular issue by raising a pull request. So, so yeah, see that? He have found out that issue and he has fixed that particular issue over here, which is quite amazing. So I can see that this is the way that we can debug the player MCP server, and I use these uh, methods to do uh, the 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 fixing of the issues and also debugging the issues to see how we can more elegantly uh, fix this issue. I'm just waiting for you guys to try out the player MCP server and let me know what you think about. And also, please try to create a pull request of any of the issues that you see. And also, if you think that some features needs to be added, please try to rise uh, as a feature request so that we can see what's really going on. One of the uh, one of the friend have asked about. Uh, I hope you add the support for the Firefox browser. Yes. I'm going to work on adding the Firefox browser support and also for the WebKit. So probably these things are going to be added pretty soon. But but yes, cross my finger, based on the time, we are going to work on these things. But this particular MCP server is quite evolving. And I'm just quite excited for you to have a look and try it out yourself and see how you can test your application. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And you guys have a great day. Happy coding and happy debugging and happy testing. Thank you.